ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Call of Duty World at War. I absolutely adore this game. I have so many fond memories on it, staying up all hours of the night, even when I had school the next day. It didn't matter. I'm up till two o'clock in the morning playing World at War, then wondering why I'm failing my algebra class. It was ridiculously fun. I thoroughly enjoyed the game and I'm feeling incredibly old right now. So you guys have to feel old with me this year. Call of Duty World at War is turning 16. It's pretty crazy to think about, right? I was 16 when the game came out. So this game came out half my life ago. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's been that long, man, but it absolutely has been. And World at War, along with all the other CODs, might become relevant again for the first time since, uh, call it July of last year. If you guys recall, Microsoft went through and put through a patch on, like, all of the older Call of Duty titles, which effectively made them repopulate. At least for a couple of weeks, people went back and actually played the games because not as many hackers and cheaters were there. There were some, of course, but the update made it so the matchmaking worked a lot better on the older Call of Duty titles on the Xbox, and so fans flooded back and it was so much fun, so much nostalgia, but then of course the hackers ended up taking over once again when they realized that there were actually people for them to annoy. That was pretty frustrating. Well today, it's come out from Tom Henderson over on his website Insider Gaming that there's going to be a massive Xbox showcase in June, and reportedly that is when they're going to reveal Black Ops Call for. Exactly what they're going to show, we really have no idea. Typically they start things off by talking about the campaign, showing the universe, the characters, and things like that, but apparently Black Ops Call for will be featured at this year's Xbox Showcase, which makes sense considering that Microsoft did purchase Activision Blizzard and therefore owns the Call of Duty franchise. Well, on top of that, Tom Henderson has been talking to his sources and it's been told to him that Xbox is gearing up for an announcement for its back catalog of games following the acquisition of Activision Blizzard. So Black Ops Call 4 might not be the only Call of Duty related content that we're going to be hearing about in June. And that's leading a lot of fans to speculate that the only Older Call of Duty titles picture games like World at War here, Call of Duty 4, the OG Modern Warfare 2, OG Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, all the old classic iconic golden era CODs. It's possible that they might end up on the Xbox Game Pass, which would be absolutely incredible. Again, it would just repopulate the games if everybody had them for free and they were digitally downloaded. Like, people would go back and play those games. How long they're going to stay, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, taking that trip down memory lane is always very fun. It's always very nostalgic, but ultimately, people end up moving on for the new thing, right? Whether it's going to be Black Ops Call 4, the new iteration of Warzone, or what have you, eventually people end up moving on after they take that little trip down memory lane, but with it being free and everybody having access to it via Xbox Game Pass, that could open the door for these older games to be ridiculously populated, or at least populated enough that no matter what time of the day or what day of the week it is, you can hop on and go play some COD World at War, maybe some OG Modern Warfare 2, or whatever your flavor is that day, you know? That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, I don't really see a situation where they would ever make the games cross-platform. That would ultimately save, like, every single older COD title. Like, if you could just go use backwards compatibility and jump back into those older COD titles and then have cross-platform enabled, so no matter what, there's always going to be a healthy, stable population, that would be incredible. I don't think the infrastructure is there. I'm not even sure it's entirely possible. Who knows if they're even going to update quality of life features, such as making all the DLC free. That is definitely something I think they should do. I've talked about it in the past, but World of War here is a prime example of how to not handle that. Like, if you guys don't know, when you're searching for a game of, let's call it Team Deathmatch and Call of Duty World at War, DLC maps will show up in the map rotation even if you don't have them installed or even purchased, right? So if you're somebody that just got into the game, you get it for Xbox Game Pass or wherever, you jump into a lobby and your choices are Revolution or Bonsai, you have no idea that those maps are not part of the base game, and then the match starts to load and it throws you back to the main menu saying, hey, Go buy the map packs. If you're a broke boy, just say so. It's a problem with the game. It fundamentally is. It's been an issue since 2008. And I've said it time and time again. Like, it just fundamentally does not make sense to me how much they charge for Order Call of Duty DLC. Unless there's a sale going on. To this day, Black Ops 2's Season Pass is $50 if you want the map packs. Like, the only reason people would really go back to Black Ops 2 and want to purchase the map packs or even the Season Pass is solely for the fact, probably, that they want to go play the old Zombies maps on the original game, right? But again, 
$50 to go ahead and do that unless there's a sale going on. The World at War DLCs are pretty similar. They might be like still 15 bucks a pop, something like that. Same thing with the Variety Map Pack and Call of Duty 4, all the Modern Warfare 2 ones. Like back when we had paid DLC, everyone pretty much got the map packs back when, but when the games died, they never like put the DLC on sale and they never made the DLC free. So that content that you paid for way back in the day, like I bought them all. You know, I have every map pack and every single Call of Duty title. I'm a COD YouTuber for crying out loud. I bought every single one. I can't use any single one because it's not in my best interest to even have them installed because all it does is limit the matchmaking and make it so I can't play with people in a game that already has a dwindling population. Like they took your money back in 2008 and you can't even use the content that you paid for anymore unless of course you jump into solo zombies or something like that. So just ridiculous in my opinion. I definitely think there's a lot of quality of life features and updates that they need to add to the older CODs should they actually go through with this and put them on the Xbox Game Pass. But still, it's really interesting to me that we're going to be getting the full reveal of Black Ops Cold War in June. Typically, they have a Warzone event associated with it, but Cold War is going to be revealed, and then they're going to be making some big announcements in regards to the back catalog of games that Microsoft now owns because they bought Activision Blizzard. I mean, they're sitting on a gold mine with these older Call of Duty titles. If they give them the respect they deserve, then things could actually work out pretty well, or even better yet, how great would it be to have a proper remaster of another game? Like, we're talking 2016 was when Modern Warfare Remastered came out, and I know a lot of people didn't like them adding extra camos, a lot of people definitely didn't like them adding extra guns, but it was a lovingly recreated game. It was the exact same experience that we had back in the day before the DLC guns came out. It was fantastic. I loved Modern Warfare Remastered thoroughly. I think I was like one of maybe two YouTubers that actually covered it the entire year. I think me and Sour were the only people actually covering Modern Warfare Remastered, and I love that game to the point where I made a video. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on here, Raven Software. The helicopter. You messed up the helicopter because back in COD 4, you could stick a C4 to it and blow it up. And now you can't. You got to fix this shit. And then the very next update they did. Like, that's how passionate I was about Modern Warfare Remastered in COD 4. Like, that game was my childhood. I was like 15, 16 when it came out. Freaking loved it, right? So how cool would it be to have a proper remaster of World at War, the OG Modern Warfare 2? Are we ever going to get Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer remastered? I have no freaking idea. A remaster of Black Ops 1. I mean, we're doing a sequel to Black Ops 2 apparently next year, but we'll have to see how that plays out, but I don't know. They have so much history, such a rich catalog of these older Call of Duty titles that Activision over these years has done nothing with, besides remaster the same five maps every single year. You know, there's so much they could do with these older titles, and now that Microsoft owns these titles, it'll be interesting to see if they decide to actually act upon that and do something with all these old, amazing IPs that everybody knows and that everybody loves. I'll just come out and say it. You know, nostalgia sells. Absolutely. And they know that people want to go back and relive these games, re-experience these games. Like, there's a lot they could do. And hopefully with all the money they paid to buy Activision Blizzard, they're not just going to sit there and do nothing with all this stuff. And hopefully they have some cool plans for us in the future. As always, I'll keep you guys posted as we learn more and as the story develops. But for right now, that's it for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.